This is interesting. Yeah, I have uh, brought in my uh, World War I French national defense poster. Basically what that says is the third loan for the national defense. At the bottom says, subscribe the victory for the peace. Right. They change words backwards. We would say the third loan for the national defense. They say it, the third loan for the defense national. They do it wrong, we do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today trying to sell my World War I French national defense poster. In a sense, it's a war bonds poster uh, asking uh, the citizens of France to support the war effort. It's more than 100 years old. It's got some really significant historical value to it, uh, as well as art value to it. I become attached to it a little bit, so the price would have to be um, spot on for me to get rid of it. I'm hoping to get uh, $1,500 for my uh, World War I French national defense poster. This is pretty cool, man. There had never been a war like World War I. I mean, there's a reason why they called it the Great War. Um, and this is a war bond poster. Created in 1917 by the French government to raise money for the war because governments always want money and they especially want them during a war. And quite frankly, people did not want to invest in war bonds in France at the time because if they lost, they lost all their money, period. I mean, there would be nothing left. So they made posters like this to appeal to people's patriotism and to get the funds necessary to defeat Germany. It's a beautiful piece. It looks like it's had some decent storage. So where'd you get it? I picked this up uh, out of a warehouse um, up in uh, Salt Lake City. OK. And one thing you definitely have going on here is it's in good shape. Is this linen backed by chance? Do you know? I'm not sure. I have never opened up the back. OK. So how much are you looking for? Well, um, it, it's more than 100 years old. Uh, I think it's got some value to it. So I'm, I'm looking actually for about 1500 bucks. OK. It's definitely different than any war bond poster I've ever seen. Do you mind if I have my poster guy take a look at it? No, that'd be great. So let me go give him a call, and I'll be right back. Voila. Wow. That is French for Hello. voila. He's asking for $1,500, so I called in Andrew, our poster expert, and as far as this deal goes, he's gonna tell me if I should say oui, oui, or au revoir. I mean, uh, this looks fantastic. It's a poster for war bonds. Yeah, for the third war loan of national defense from France. It's a great piece of history, for sure. It's by uh, Albert Bernard. I think he's probably more well known for his painting. This is one of the few posters that I've seen of his, um, but very prolific, long career. I mean, it was important for France to uh, have their best and you know, brightest artists do very important pieces you know, for fundraising uh, during the war. This sort of thing was very real and hit home for the French. This is invest in the war or we're gonna lose our mothers and their children. It's, it's a very important piece. OK. Uh, do you have some concerns about it, I guess? Well, I mean, first, I mean, you know, it's a French poster for war bonds. So I understand why I haven't seen it. Are there a million of these over there? I mean, it was important for them to fundraise. So this was printed probably in the thousands. It's a stone lithograph. So that, you know, gave them the possibility of having a fairly large run. And being that they, you know, used a well-known artist, they probably wanted to make as many of these as possible. So is it real? Just at a glance, it's authentic. I mean, it's uh, 31 by 44, give or take. Uh, you have the lithographer mentioned here and the artist's signature and plate there. Obviously, these are ephemera and never meant to be saved. And usually, they were pasted on the walls. I mean, for this poster, this looks like an amazing shape, right? It, it appears to be in somewhat good shape. It doesn't look too faded, maybe a little faded. Uh, most notably, the folds. This wasn't issued folded. This would have been rolled for distribution. So it's an authentic piece, but that affects its overall condition. OK. So what's it worth? The big question. Given its condition, I wouldn't spend more than $200 on this. <sighs> OK. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Good luck. All right. <sighs> so um, it's a big price difference. Yeah. So what do you want to do with it? I don't think we're going to make a deal. So I think I'm going to keep it. If you change your mind, let me know. My favorite French foods, fries, dressing, and toast.